Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Cutting Mod for what we usually call Hoi 4! So, right now, uh, if you saw the last episodes, which I assume you probably did, at this point in the campaign, there's not much left for us to do, so much so that our focus tree has become a generic focus tree, but I did want to explore, like I said in the last, end of the last episode, what the generic focus tree actually has for us to do. Um, I have a feeling that this stuff is not done, and I, like I said in the last video, there's going to be more stuff coming. Especially for the People's Republic of China, which would be great. And we're also doing commercial philosophy. If you want to read about that again, please go right ahead. Um, we should choose a path to gain income. Uh, pretty much this one, it's going to be a relatively short video in which we're going to go ahead and mostly use cons commands just to see what this generic focus tree has. But let's go ahead. And we're going to choose some of these ways first, just so that we can read, or I can read some comments. So, establish a civil defense bureau. In an age of increasing nuclear stockpiles, terrifying chemical weapon advancements, indiscriminate weapons, and rising radicalism, we must establish a bureau to combat terrorism, defend the population, plan civil defense, and spy on dissidents. And I guess followed up with, found the maritime guard. Smugglers, terrorists, cartels, and other criminals have been shipping illicit materials into our country and spurring discord. The maritime guard will be a sub-branch of the navy and will protect our coasts on a regular basis from criminal and terrorist activity. And speaking of discord, I have one. Odds are you've already decided whether you want to join it or not, so. Cool. Thanks for uh, deciding, I guess. A couple comments. Someone says, it's just mod fun to play. Um, it depends what you want out of the mod. If you want a mod that doesn't have a lot of action, especially for Hoi 4, and it's a little bit more, a little bit story driven, not as much as TNO, but a little bit that's kind of story, still story driven, I recommend yes. If you want a lot of action, probably not, because as you saw earlier, like probably that we had to manually just find like Burma and that Yunnan province down here. Not a ton of action, but when the action does happen, it's pretty good usually. So it really depends on the person. Uh, someone says, which country should we play as? I don't know, this is my first campaign in uh, the Cold War Iron Curtain mod. I'm going to try, I definitely will try out the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, you know, the US USSR. I definitely want to do, as someone said, say, like Albania. I want to try them out sometime as well. I definitely want to try to do Yugoslavia, East Germany, probably the Federal Republic of Germany. Um, probably America too, at least. So we'll see. We'll see how, where we get. I No promises, but those are the couple of nations that I'm looking at right now. Um, Japan actually might be interesting to play as well. Do they have, oh, well, they just, their focus tree changed too. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, can we bring back the German Reich, someone asks. Apparently, that might be possible right now, but eventually that tree is going to be taken out or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, so... I want to say yes and no, but ultimately no, because that's going to be removed, so... We'll see. Also, we have 167. We just could never fully influence these guys, could we? That sucks so much. That sucks so much, man. Foreign power projection. We need more. Yeah, it sucks. 98% still. Oh well, it is what it is. Other comments include, Can we do the mod called Chant of the Forgotten? Now, at the time of this recording, I've never heard of that mod. I don't know anything about it. So, sure, if someone could, like, send me a link to their Discord server, or a link to the mod page on Steam, or something like that, I'll check it out. I'm totally open to trying out new and different, like, mods that for Hoi4, just in general. So, hey, if you find something that you think it would be fun to play, let me know in the, in the comments below. Totally let me know, please, please, please. And regardless of, like, mod, if it's, you know, at least relatively halfway done decently, totally, absolutely. Cool, and someone says, we should try other historical paths to the USSR. I said I want to do historical, we'll probably do historical, we'll probably do the USSR a whole bunch of times, just because there's, like, 11 different paths or something like that I've heard, so. There's a whole lot there. And someone says, I should play TNO, play as Tito's Yugoslavia, which I'm not sure that even that even really exactly exists, but, uh, try that out. And then, yeah, try that. Do like an end seek scenario. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not really sure about that. Just because there's no content I think for Yugoslavia yet. Eventually there will be. So I'll be really interested in playing that. Uh, yep. Yeah. And someone yeah, said earlier, do Albania. Cool. But now let's continue with reading all these. Cooperative counterterrorism force. We must establish a cooperative counterterrorism force with our allies in order to better protect each other and extradite known or suspected terrorists. Not bad. It seems like you actually get more national spirits doing this stuff too. Municipal Guard Corps. A specialized branch of the Maritime Guard, the Municipal Guard will protect the ports of the cities and attempt to directly stem in city smuggling and crime. Additionally, these forces will search container yards and ships for illicit materials and Municipal Guard mo militarization. Expanding the Maritime Guard, we'll, we will allocate additional funding to special response teams and armored vehicles for the Municipal Guard to respond to terrorist attacks and fortify dockyards. Cool, so we got this, one, two, three, 18 days left. I'm going to do all the phones that we don't need to do for deciding things here, so levy militia brigades. We should take the time to create a militia brigade and lay the foundations for national militia organizations by developing a standardized format. I'll be honest, I kind of like these generic ones. They seem like they actually give you stuff. 
Uh, oh, we did that one, but we need to found the National Militia first. The National Militia will serve as a paramilitary organization, both with peacetime and wartime purposes. It'll buffer armaments and provide a general security gears to protect our nation with Airspace Command. Expanding the COB to provide an aerospace command network over our country is a necessary part of modern warfare and control. Being able to network our systems to fight off enemy air attacks is, of course, quite, quite vital. Cool. I love how much technology there is to do. It seems like it's just a little overbearing. Like, there's just so much, but still. So we got all these we can do that we'll do immediately. Um, let's look at this one. Air Network-centric Air Force. Air Base Construction. Localized Air Force Command. Air Anti-Air Net. Interceptor Network. Particular Defense Net. Uh, that's not bad. Interceptors get more... I don't even really use them. I don't know. That seems okay. So let's go and use FA. Cool. Thank you. Airspace Command. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Localized air commands. Let's do network centric. Beyond simply having created a centralized network to organize our airspace defense, we'll create a fully networked and central command system so that our air force can work in perfect conjunction. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. But, uh, interceptor network, particular defense network. Well, let's do. Let's, this makes more sense to do this one. Um, if you want to read about that, please go ahead. So, particular defense no net. While an interceptor network would be an exceptionally powerful tool, it is also highly expensive. It cannot pierce together or piece together an effective interceptor network. Instead, our resources would be better allocated towards damage control and industrial park defense systems. Now, I'll for this one. We will create an interceptor network that covers specific regions and create highly efficient interceptor networks that reduce the overall cost of running interceptors. Interceptor research program versus multi role program. If you want to do this one, please go ahead. I'm going to go do multi role. We do not have the resources for interceptors. Even if we research a greater uh, interceptor design, it's still far too expensive for us to build en masse. Instead, multi-roles that can serve purpose, multiple purposes will be far more effective and reasonable. Uh, radar research program. Key r critical regions have s insufficient radar coverage. We will invest in a better radar system to improve our existing arrays in the area. SAM research project. Our SAMs are outdated and in an era where jets are becoming more and, more and more deadly and powerful, we need better AA protection. Expand the radar network. We can allocate political resources towards expanding our airspace defense network and better protect our country from invaders. Uh, let's see. Anti-terrorism. Blue water focus. Patrol and being. Helicopter. Ooh, helicopter. Remote listening ports. It's not bad. Uh, naval optics. I don't know, it seems like, if you, want, if you want about this one, please go right ahead. I think I'm going to do the lost side here. Anti-terrorism stuff sounds like fun. Anti-terrorism. Our maritime guard must focus on fighting terrorism and crime rather than preparing for war. Illegal materials and civil protection are a priority. Yeah, you know what, I actually might do this one then. Patrol and being. Uh, we will maintain a greater level of security by creating a dispatch center with a response bus to maintain a greater level of security and investigate any suspicious ships. Ah, screw what we're down this way anyways. Monitor the fleet. River patrols are also a notable concern. Creating monitor patrol ships to guard the rivers will greatly hinder criminal activity. Naval optics. Our maritime modules are insufficient to guard our coast, and we will allocate special funding to develop better maritime modules for our fleets. Aeronautic patrols. While patrol ships are useful, patrol planes can gather far more intel, cover more ground, and see more from the sky. We'll create maritime aerospace patrol wings to hunt down the criminals. Counter piracy units. Creating naval counter piracy units comprised of heavily armed marines is paramount to the defense of our nation. The threat of armed pirates cannot be underestimated, and these units will attempt to retake control of the merchant ships that have been hijacked. Civilian protection focus. Garrisons. NBC civilian safety. A metro fortress. That's not bad. Or military network. I kind of like this one. Um, yeah. If you want to read about this stuff, please go right ahead. Civilian focus. We're going to a military network focus, probably, so... The National Militia will be focused on primarily supporting the overall military network and buff our war machine. Or buffer it. Establish mob networks. The first step in making our National Militia network is to establish mobs that will uh, support FOBs in the future. Construct FOBs. The primary focus of our National Militia network FOBs will be crucial logistic and military assets. Militia patrols. In order to better protect our country, we'll establish militia patrols to ease the burden of our regular troops on domestic production. Uh, National Militia Logistic Corps. An army fires with the supplies it has. Logistics doesn't have the same mandate for discipline and combat strength as the frontline forces do so, relegating a majority of our National Militia forces to logistics is the best option. Helicopters or motors. Well, we have more motors, so if you want to read about this, please go ahead. Motor patrols. While helicopters will be a stronger option for every helicopter we purchase, we can purchase upwards of 10 patrol vehicles. Helicopters will play a minor role and will focus hopefully on ground patrols. Military hospitals. Military casualties are a tremendous threat to any nation, not merely because of the loss of a suitable population, but the loss of veterans is deadly, especially as armies have greater and greater mandates for professionalism and skill. Even though we've got China here. Military Research Defense, or Civil Defense Research Center. The sheer complexity of the civil defense system we now have in place has put a strain on our existing development resources. All the countless civil protection, counterterrorism, and modern defense networks will require a facility dedicated to their management and improvement. 
just ha casually having 10 research slots. That's all. Just having 10. That's all. Um, here, doesn't really matter. There you go. Cool, so that part is done. So we got two more trees to go through. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Financial commerce. Balance commerce. Artisan commerce. We're definitely going to go with the left side here. Financial commerce. Bankers, clerks, offices, stores, and leisure. Having a robust commercial center with thriving with activity and a powerful financial backbone of skyrocket income and economic growth. So if you want to know about these, please go ahead. Land rights? Not here. Cash crops? County logistics? I mean, last time we got really weird and... Uh, we got rid of some people, and then got rid of other people, and didn't get rid of people, so... Office zoning. We need to begin making preparations to create office districts in our city close to homes. They buffer noise pollution from commerce and provide incredible boons to commerce and development itself. Special zoning. We can further improve our commercial strength by introducing more carefully planned and specialized city zones, mandating commerce near or in residential districts to be organic, self-sufficient, and minimally noise polluting. We'll keep residential areas quiet even while even having commerce in the reach of homes. Having leisure districts on the other side of the offices to provide entertainment for the people will improve the quality of life. Finally, reserving the areas with the highest land value or near attractions to be specialized in the tourism will greatly improve tourist income. More commercial zones. We have plenty of untapped high land value in some of our cities. Prime real estate for commercial development, even if it means a little bit of eminent domain. Commercial logistics. Some commercial districts are absolutely a mess and have to be have to route traffic through inefficient thin roads or simply go unstocked for long periods of time. Anywhere this happens, we should consider revising our municipal planning to better accommodate commercial logistics. Banking and technology information. Actually, we're about that. Let's go ahead. Export. Urban renewal. Urban services. Cool. And then... Actually, we can do this up, this up here, too, so... Banking and information technology. The final part of our plan is to create two additional specialized office zones. Information technology and finance. Guaranteeing space for these precious districts and providing them with priority services. And no property tax will trickle down immense or tremendous amounts of wealth and provide large amounts of taxation or tax income elsewhere. Revive the Rust Belt. Our country's industrial Rust Belt, once a proud economic center of industry, is nothing more than rusting factories. We must revive it to bring it back or bring it to its old glory. Not bad. Cool. Oh, oh, I'll give you that one too. Oh, whoops. It's either or. My bad. Oh, Urban Renewal. Revive the Rust Belt. That's probably better to do Urban Renewal, honestly. Urban Services. I probably prefer that one, but whatever. Um. Wait, we can't do all this. Oh. Okay. So wait, so then you're bugged out of this, huh? That's dumb. It does not have industry buildup. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's interesting. You don't have the... We have the... So, okay, we can't go down this way because we don't have industry buildup. That sucks. Oh, because we have this one for 180 days. So eventually we can. You know what? Just focus dot... Uh, no checks. We're going to be able to do this anyways. We suffer from severe urban pains. High crime, low income areas are too common and cause for problems for those that live in them and out. We must revive these locations. Oh, well, we must keep it on then for now. Industrialized. There are many places in our country left unindustrialized and full of unemployment. We should create a stimulus package to save these areas. Urban services. Municipal governments around our, our city need to be expanding civil infrastructure. Air, build air bases. In order to defend our country, our Air Force is going to need more bases, air bases, to protect the skies like our guardian angels. Alright, so this one. God dang it. How many times do we need to do this? Increase military spending. We should increase the amount we spend on our defense. Alright, so here, re renterization, huh? Hybridization. Industrialism. Our industrial sector is best concentrated on the processing of resources, not the processing of raw resources. Uh, our country lacks the natural resources to base ourselves off RGOs. Um, this sounds like... Oof. Gathering and processing? We can go to Africa for that. Let's do industrialism. Let's do this, and this, and this, and this. Please go right ahead. They're just like... They're, they are what I like. Consumer electron, uh, not electronics, but economics. A conscious consumer economy can bolster itself and produce products for domestic consumption. Intermediate goods manufacturing. Producing intermediate goods such as parts, construction materials, and unfinished goods is a profitable venture. Industrial goods factories. Why import machinery when we can produce machinery and vehicles ourselves? Industrial goods factories can also consume the domestically produced intermediate goods. And housing industry. Our wide tracts of land are perfect real estate. For housing, and we have all the industry support of booming housing industry. From rehabilitating housing to new construction, our country can easily prosper from domestic residential construction and Bureau of Industry. Finding a Bureau of Industry to look after the needs of our newly emerging factories and productive economy is vital to the future health. And we guess we can't have the other stuff too. Okay. And we're back. Build interstate. Our country has poor transport links. We need to build an interstate to connect our uh, country together. Revise urban planning. We need to revise the way we conduct urban planning to better fit future urban infrastructure expansions and growths. Build 
Arterial Railway. Now that we have a new interstate, we should begin looking towards building the Arterial Railway our finance minister has been talking about non-stop. Expand urban infrastructure. We should look towards building or expanding urban infrastructure in their cities to aid productivity and radar projects. Radar is crucial to modern combat. We should attempt to research better radar technologies. Naval expansion. Our navy is too weak. We need to begin constructing dockyards. Military industrial complex. Our military industry is lacking. We need to begin expanding it and revise plans. We need to rework our defense planning and look towards expanding our army. And construct naval bases. We've expanded our land infrastructure greatly, however. The time has come to expand our naval infrastructure and build ports and harbors for our cities. Overall, that's not too bad. Let's see. Let's take out FA. Cool. So that's the entire focus tree for all the generico focuses. So now we have 244 factories. Not bad. As you can tell, like, we're pretty much done here. Um, we have 198. Let's see. What happens if we go to this one? How does that... That's still not too bad. Yeah, nominal welfare spending. That's not too bad, um, but like I said, there's not much else here. Um, we can, you know, get more renewable energies. It'll be fine. We can just continue improving ourselves. But I will play as the People's Republic of China again someday. Not sure when, but I'll get the update maybe. And after I've got a little more experience in this mod, I really want to make sure I can do the PRC as best as possible. But I think that's where we're going to leave it here for today, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, not, well, it's shorter than most of my videos it's still not bad leave a like if you like it subscribe if you're new discord i already brought that up earlier so regardless thank you very much for watching and have a tremendous 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 rest of your day